I'm going to learn to fit my own cam belt. <laughs> it's going to go wrong. Now today we were supposed to be at the workshop starting all the welding and everything, um, but something has got in the way, so we can't do that today. So I've decided the best thing to do is to learn how to do a cam belt. I bought a torque wrench now, uh, so fortunately, I'm hoping I should be able to save a little bit of money doing this, which would be nice. Uh, or spend a lot of money when it goes wrong and I turn the key and it goes BANG! <laughs> I have however been back to uh, my mechanics and they've been nice enough to print off their down here, their manual on how to do a cam belt on my engine which is really nice it's like a step by step thing which is great because I'm an idiot and I have an engine crane <laughs> yes I'm just trying to take this bottom pulley off and I'll show you this as clearly as I can see how that's an allen head but if you look further into it, it's supposed to be a spline. Meaning that anything I ram in there on all of these bolts is just shearing off. Fun times. Ugh. That was a pain in the ass. Boat is off. Tensioner is now off. It's all very scary. It's taken me about three times longer than it should have done, but uh, we're getting there. As it turned out, this old water pump didn't actually have a gasket on it. Someone just put a gasket sealer on it. Luckily, the new one's got a gasket. Also, quickly replacing the oil feed for the turbo with this uh, old crap kinked pipe with a nice new breeded pipe. <laughs> So, the time has now come where the engine is very much back together. I'll take you through quickly where we are with the engine now, and you'll see that the bonnet is up on the shit heap, um, because we're about to not make it a shit heap. So starting at the back, obviously we've got this on, this is the, the exhaust is on temporarily, it's just to get it out of my way pretty much. We've got the uh, boost pipes going into the pancake pipe, that's now on, the EGR is now all sealed up completely the uh, exhaust manifold has a new gasket on it the intake manifold has a new gasket on it uh, this is a new gearbox um, it's not new obviously it's come from somebody it's a bit dirty at the moment uh, this is all just crap that i need to clean off but uh yeah that's painted and ready to go i need to paint this end bit and probably some bits in there but you're never going to see this because this is the back of the engine anyway coming around the side we have uh, the diesel pump the high pressure diesel pump which has now got new seals in it um, so that should be working beautifully with any luck. Uh, the starter motor is now bolted on. We're missing the slave cylinder because uh, the guy who got the gearbox off didn't uh, hasn't quite got that across to me yet. But he is going. He's a good bloke, and he will do that. The yeah. So starter motor is now bolted on. I'm missing the bottom bolt, um, but we're going to find one of them pretty soon. Around the front, obviously, we've got the oil cooler, which has a, a nice new seal on. We've got a turbo uh, oil feed. I had to get a braided pipe because. Uh, the one on here was kinked and just a bit mashed, so uh, yeah, replace that. Uh, alternator bracket, got one alternator on. Uh, at the moment, the uh, the dual out bracket that goes in the place of the aircon pump down there is uh, drying because I had to repaint it. It was going a little bit rusty. Got the second alternator there and the regulator ready to go on. Uh, power steering pump is back on. I need a new power steering pipe um, because that's a little bit bent up, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, around this side the timing belt is all brand new very very high thank you go to my mechanic Andy for sorting that all out for me um, and we have an engine mount on this side uh, which is going to go where the airbox is on the caddy uh, EGR delete is in place everything is nice and tidy and clean yeah pretty happy so far I'm not expecting this to work flawlessly. I'm not expecting it to go in the car, turn the key and it to work perfectly first time. Things are gonna leak. Um, that's kind of just the nature of what I've seen on when people do engine swaps. Things leak, things aren't on properly or things are missed or boost pipes pop off or things like that. Um, but we're back together and that's the important thing. I'm now gonna rip the front off the caddy. Yes, that mug does say poo on it. In fact, it says, Oh, I can't see it. After this coffee, I'm off for a poo and to play games on my phone. We all do that. Yeah, well, we've got some rust treatment to do under here then. Although, to be fair, 
I might just take that out because I'm not going to have a battery up front anyway. There's not really any need for those trays, they just look terrible. That was new. Um, how are you helping? Just at the front, surely. Pull. I don't think that that rust is actually too bad. I think a lot of that surface, apart from here, we might have to be a bit. Let's hope that's not splitting away from the chassis. That would be bad. Ironically, I'm wondering if the dirt has protected the rest of it from rust. <laughs> if I want to clean this down and have a look. I think the next thing to do is going to be to jack it up and get the fluids out of it, because uh, I can't really take pipes off while there's still fluids in it. It'll just be like... What's that? What? What do we need to get the coolant out so we can get the front end off? A pair of grippies. It's doing away. All that lovely coolant I put in not that long ago. Just running across the subframe and missing the bucket completely, look. The uh, radiator was held on by one bracket and seemingly balanced uh, everywhere else, which is good. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take off uh, everything that's going to stop it coming out, then drain the oil, drain the rest of the fluids, um, and then hopefully have this thing out in a few hours. Although I do have to stop today, which is really annoying, it's because I can't finish this. Oh, I've got strobe lights in the background. Oh, it's gone. Griffy, moly, moly, mole. Griffy, moly, moly, moly. Coolant is uh, coolant's orange. It's meant to be orange, right? It's a perfectly healthy engine. Do I need to pull the reservoir out? I don't think I do actually. Well, not yet, but I will do at some point. Although, in saying that, if I don't, it's going to go absolutely everywhere when I try and drain it. Probably best we just pull it out. It's now a different day. Here's where we're at. All of the uh, fluids are now out. All the oil is in a catch can under there. Um, all the rest of the fluids are in this bucket. Oil filter is off. And the only thing holding the engine and gearbox in now is the mount. Um, of course, the drive shafts off and probably the exhaust. And then the engine will be ready to be lowered out. I figured out if I use a breaker bar and I brace it off the floor to hold the end of the drive shaft still, I can just about get the tool in and uh, and get the button get the nuts off. But I need to hold this hold this on with my knee. Otherwise, it just spins. <laughs> this one's really awkward. I don't see why they can't just make like. The drive shaft meet point like in the middle because then it'll be easy from both sides but no put it over one side so after much delegation and failed attempts i've decided i'm just gonna drop it all out with the uh drive shaft that attached and undo it from the uh gearbox because i can't do it another way <laughs>
Your engine mount bolts on here. So that's the first one I'm going to take off, and I'm going to be putting the jack just on this piece of looks like three, four mil thick steel just under here, just to take the weight for the time being, so I know it's not going to fall on me and kill me. Kind of see it better from up here. So there's the mount, and the four bolts go in on this panel here. Oh, my old man knees. Cozy. Now, I don't know if this is normal, but I feel like this is kind of proof that this engine has been out before. Uh, two of those mountain bolts were. Well, two, of the, two of them are brand new. Look, beautiful. Put that back on the shelf. And then you've probably got the original ones. What I'm also doing, just running through everything that I take off, and I'm just labeling it with like roughly where I got it from. Just so I know. So obviously when this engine comes out, I'm going to be left with a lot of pipes that are coming out of the bodywork. Um, to know where they go is going to be really handy. Obviously I've already undone the one down the back here. So it's this one here that needs to be undone. And this one there. 17 mil, I reckon. 16, I reckon. Oh, that wasn't done up very tightly at all. <laughs> yeah, stubborn little shite. Owie. I got a boo boo. Tell you what, normally it's not that bad, but it's one of those ones. It's just bleeding from under the nail. Oh, stay So, front gearbox mount is off, rear engine mount is off, uh, rear gearbox mount should be off. I'm gonna jack it up and down a few times just to make sure everything moves. Time to work out how an engine crane works. There's a cranky thing and a turny thing. I'm gonna Google it. Lacking in uh, skill, knowledge, uh, tools, and sexual endowment, uh, I can make up for in 70mm cable because I don't have any chain, so I'm just going to use 70mm because base. Now, you may laugh, however, this is just metal cable. The fact that it's used for audio and like speaker wires and stuff is uh, kind of irrelevant at this point, but it's, it's just metal cable. So what do you reckon the chances of this working are? Probably going to move my head. So we are uh, around the gearbox down there. And then it comes through part of the timing belt, comes up around the alternator. And then we kind of just looped in there. Ah. I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> Attempt two on lifting an engine with subwoofer power cable. Double knot. Good. Oh, we're 
Motherfucker. Now I know this is a ridiculous idea, but I, I, I'm now kind of hell bent on it. Cable ties. More cable ties. And into the mouth of the thing. Do that tight, and then probably put another one around there. We should see how many cable ties it takes to lift an engine. Oh, I guess it's slipping. So the exhaust manifold bolts, where it joins into the exhaust, were uh, completely seized on. So that was fun. The uh, the drive shaft hub nut on that side seized so that was fun um, and the bolts that hold the uh, actual drive shaft of the gearbox ruined so that's fun but I think we're now ready That's gonna be God I look like crap. That's just normal. Okay then. That's everything for today. So the engine is out. The engine is ready to go in, but we need to get all the wiring and everything and the mounts sorted before all of that happens. Um, it's a really good position. I've got some uh, phosphoric acid on the way, which is gonna eat any rust that's in the engine bay. Um, I'll then fill whatever pits are left. And then I'm going to give the whole thing a good coating uh, in a rust proof paint um, just to make it look all right and give the whole thing a damn good, a damn good clean down. Um, thank you for watching. I will catch you at some point soon. Take care of yourselves. Uh, pirates. <laughs>